So welcome back. Thank you. So we'll start with QA. So anybody has any questions? Then raise your hand, come here, and you have? Then come here, just sit here. Mic, there you Greetings. Firstly, I'm very much grateful to this divine that blessed me with such quality and uh, precious golden moment of my life. It's really blissful to be in this holistic retreat. Uh, actually, I have one question. Yeah. You answered many times that change your energy, change your frequency. This is the only answer. But sometimes, I'm, for example, in this whole world, I never ever felt that no, very few times I got angry, but only my brother, even I loved him a lot. He's the person I don't know. Uh, some friction, whenever each morning I see him, I start my mother. He's not doing this. He's not. Even I know he's a different being. He has different perceptions, different vision. Each and everything is different. Even now, from when I start meditating, I'm aware of this thing, but I can't stop. Whenever I saw him, uh, very in misery, in he's just like a uh, crying baby. He's 43, but just like a crying baby due to some circumstances, and he's not ready to overcome or get re ready to forget the past. And how in such conditions uh, I cope up with? The, uh, each time I see his face, I always feel my spiral is going down, down, down. Your? Spiral is going down, down, down. He or you? I, I, I always I, yeah. feel because uh, his frequency, I always feel his frequency when he came to, near me. Uh, something, uh, uh, my energy is going down, down, down. Okay. Uh, even कहते हैं ना ना चाह के भी मैं कंट्रोल नहीं कर पाती कि मैं कैसी अपनी एनर्जी को सेव करूं। Right. So again, this is very common when we have all our loved ones when they go through some problem issues, or his brother, or most of the parents, the children, or their spouse, or their parents. So it is normal, but this is the this is a spiritual test. Okay. Take it as a spiritual test okay. and know that you can only help them. Yes. If your really intention is to help, mm -hmm. then you can only help them by maintaining your alignment. Okay. Right? If you are actually losing your alignment, you are adding to the problem. Yes. Trying to Instead of helping them, you are actually adding to the problem. Okay. So, and now mm -hmm. you have the understanding, you have the wisdom, you have the, you know, understand the science of vibration. Yes. Only if you, if you keep your energy level high, mm -hmm. your vibration level high, mm -hmm. if somebody is here, then you can uplift him. Okay. If you also downlift you, how will you help him? Okay. Right? So you can only, so your first job is not about helping him. Okay. Your first job is, okay, now I know this situation. Mm -hmm. How do I first help myself okay. by finding my alignment? 
Okay. Once you know that you are aligned, you are in a balance, once you understand that everybody is their own sovereign entity, mm -hmm. everybody has come to choose their own path, own life lessons, mm -hmm. own learnings, mm -hmm. own journey, mm -hmm. he happens to be your brother in this lifetime. Yes. Right? In next lifetime, it could be somebody else. Yes. Sita has two soulmates. One was Ram and another was Ravad. Yes. Right? Yes. And she chose them as a soulmate, she chose both in, in her life. Mm -hmm. so, so, you have to understand that this is only the role, you are playing a role of a sister in this lifetime. Yes. But your first obligation is to keep your alignment. And the only way you can help her is by keeping your alignment. So now that you know this, now that you understand this, so at that moment, if you say, no, I can't help it, I've been doing, I, 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 if you fight for your limitations, then you can keep it. Okay. But if you say, no, mm -hmm. I know this is my pattern, now I'm conscious, now I'm aware, mm -hmm. no, now. So helping him is secondary. Okay. First, helping myself. Oh, I am losing my alignment. Okay, let me find my alignment. Okay. Now you know the tools, you know the techniques. Find your alignment and then from that state of being, then you can offer your help. Okay. Right? Okay. And that's the only way you can help him. Okay. Even uh, Otherwise, what happens is, sometimes as a personality, as you're saying, you know, he feels helpless, he feels victim. Yes, yes. yes. He right? Is so, by, by feeding his victimhood, you are giving sympathy, oh yeah, this is not good, this is not right, something, whatever, whatever it may be the situation. By feeding his victim home, you are not even helping him. You are only enabling him, that's why, yes, that's yes. why, so in a way he is stealing energy from you. Yes, even uh, here is different. Uh, I never console him, but my mother, when I, I ask my mother, and my mother asks, you cannot understand him. So forget, it is not about consoling, not consoling. I am not going on the action part. I am not going on the, okay. de on the, on the doing part. Okay. What is your thought process? What is your thought process? What's going on within you? Okay. Right? I am talking from the sense of energy. Understand. From the sense of energy, he is stealing energy and you are letting the energy and allowing him to steal your energy. Understand. That's why you feel depleted. I understand. So your first job is to keep your alignment. You don't steal energy from others, but you don't allow others also to steal energy from you. Perfect. Otherwise, you are making him handicapped. Yes. Right? Yes. Then he'll, after some days, again he'll like to steal energy. Then again he'll find some reason to steal energy. Yes. And that cycle goes on and on. Okay. So you have to break that cycle by not allowing him to steal energy. Then, if, then at least you are not facilitating him to steal energy. Okay. And then maybe he wakes up. Then he maybe realizes, oh, now, I am not able to steal energy from anywhere outside, so let me find my energy within. Let me look within. Okay. But as long as you or your mother, anybody is letting the energy to be stolen, he will never wake up. Okay. So what is important is first to focus on yourself. Okay. And then again, your mother has his own journey. Yes. If she, as a motherhood, she, she, she wants her to... Uh, she may not have this understanding and she is letting her energy steal. You may give your wisdom, you may give your, her the understanding. You may give your brother the understanding. But then at the end, it is their choice then. And then you, you leave it to that. You, you honor their choice. Okay. You don't resist their choice. Okay. You accept their choice, you honor their choice. Perfect. You honor their suffering. Because okay. it's not bad, suffering is not bad. It, it may lead to the expansion of their consciousness. It may lead to awakening. I understand. It may lead to their... It may lead... It may, it may come as a wake-up call then eventually. Yes. Yeah. And I have one more question. Only a few days uh, ago, 2023rd uh, of uh, Feb, I introduced with the PSSM. Uh, um, and uh, I got a chance to go Vrindavan to attend the Mahotsa. And there I... Mm, someone told me that... Uh, I asked some uh, one master over there that uh, uh, if 
anybody in the family is not ready to do meditation, then she said that uh, invite their conscious self that come and do meditation. We are doing meditation together. Is it the right way? So, what I would say is everybody has their own choice, their own journey. Okay. Why do you want to interfere? Whether from the energetic level or from the from the on, or from the physical point of view, Gee. you honor their choice. I understand. Right? Yes. What you can, what you can visualize in your meditation is they are they have found their alignment. Okay. And from the and, and when they find the alignment, they will be happy. They have found their wholeness. Okay. Whether that wholeness comes through meditation, mm -hmm. or maybe they are a dancer and they love dancing and that gives them wholeness. Maybe somebody is a cook, great cook, and that cooking gives the wholeness. So then you leave it to their choice. Okay. Just because you are a meditator and you think this is the way, you can't. We sh I, I mean, I feel I, I would like not to force on anybody. Yes. You tell them, you share them your wisdom, you share your experiences. Okay. That may inspire them, and they'll. But you, why to force on anybody? Understand. One basic principle of spirituality is non-interference. Understand. Right. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. That decision Aisha takes. I will not study in the dharam sankat. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Uh, Shan sir, I have uh, one question. Yeah. Uh, you know, I have been meditating since uh, four years, yes. sincerely, daily. Absolutely. So, no break. Yeah. So, I want to know, I want to get realization, suppose enlightenment, I want to become Buddha. Meditation, can I continue with meditation only or apart from that, what other things I need to do? So, as I told you, meditation, awareness, being aware of every thought, emotion, then uh, under coming from the level of that I am that consciousness, that expanded, that aware of that that underlining that divinity that we all carry about that, and sometimes it is also good to maybe withdraw from the current situation, in a sense. Maybe you, if, if your life permits you to be at a time of life where you can say, okay, three months, six months, I am going more on a, a solitude journey okay. and focus on that. It can also help you. It can help because the idea is not to escape from reality, yeah, just but to, yeah. to take that time to come into that zone, to come into that state of self-realization. Because what happens is all said and done, we are emotionally, we have an emotional relationship with everything around us. Okay. Even the house that we live in, the city we live in, the, the our relationships, yeah. right? The objects, yeah. even inanimate objects, we develop a relationship, yes. right? The moment our phone is not there, we feel as if someone has cut right? Yeah, that, that be <laughs> we have, so we develop a relationship with everything, right? So sometimes to go within and then again it takes you out. It again takes you there. So sometimes it needs full your full attention to just be in your zone, be in your own zone. Focus on learning, learning, learning from the masters, learning about this knowledge, learning about self-realization and practicing it and reading it and practicing it and reading it without any external distractions. And that can actually accelerate the journey. Once you get that, then you can come back. Okay, like once Buddha got enlightenment, <clears throat> he went back to meet his family. Yeah. He went back everywhere spreading meditation. Okay. Though your family may not understand you when you go back. Okay. Right? Yeah, Which is common. Hmm. When Buddha got enlightenment, when he went back, he, his father said, I can forgive you right now. You have given me a lot of pain, a lot of pain, a lot of pain. 
पर अभी भी तुमको मौका दे रहा हूँ अगरी अभी भी तुम अगर राजपाट संभाल लेते हो तो मैं तुमको माफ कर दूंगा सो योर फैमिली विल बी लास्ट टू रियलाइज दैट यू आर यू आर रियलाइज्ड बट विच इज फाइन अच्छा वन स्मॉल थिंग एडिंग टू दिस आई एक्चुअली अटेंडेड क्यू एल यू क्वांटन लाइफ यूनिवर्सिटी दैट एस सी टी पी कोर्स सो लॉट ऑफ थिंग्स वर टोल्ड एंड इट एडेड टू माई नॉलेज एंड प्लस सम मोर थिंग्स आई meditated there it was quite deep and all those things uh, i just want to know how far silence can be helpful with silence i do meditation also what i have started doing every fortnight thursday i am going for uh, 36 hours of silence and in that i do most of the time i read books and uh, uh, go for meditations lengthy meditations uh, what do you feel is it uh, is it a uh, is it a healthy thing but is it good to do go in silence yeah because so i what i thinking i can go every week every thursday shall i go for silence my my family they don't have any this thing because when yeah, i yeah. silence is good always good okay. but how you use that time in silence is important yeah right if you use, mobile i switch off you are silent i don't go with, with mobile but mobile exactly you are on your yeah. phone because mobile watching is, something the mind is wandering yeah. yes it's Okay. mouth yeah. is shut but yeah, mind but is not mind still yeah. yes. true silence is stillness of the mind perfect if that silence ex- facilitate the stillness of your mind then it is helping if that silence helps you to escape the responsibility and now watch ever you want to watch for hours <laughs> then right you are watching one movie or one serial yeah, and back no, to back actually, oh i am in silence You know, yeah, then no, it will perfect, not help perfect. but you know understand it right yeah. so how you utilize that silence time silence in silence is important then it can be very helpful yeah and just for the people i just want to add that uh, actually i have, i don't see tv but i don't feel like seeing tv i don't feel like seeing mo- anything mo- on the mobile all those things are gone no craving but are, also you know i'm gone. not against mobile or tv Uh, it's, yeah. it's the content what you watch is important. No, perfect. That is there. It can be a great tool for transformation. Yes, great yes. tool for inspiration. Right? That, correct. There will be some good so things. So it's, it's, it's just that you have to be careful of what content. Yeah. Is that content enriching you? Yeah. Mentally, some physically, good emotionally. Will be some that good is music. great. That is good. Right? Yeah. Mm. So can I sing two lines? Yeah, yeah. Please, yes. <laughs> आए ओ मेरी जिंदगी में तुम बाहर बन के आए ओ मेरी जिंदगी में तुम बाहर बन के मेरे दिल में यूं ही रहना बस प्यार प्यार बन के मेरे दिल में यूं ही रहना बस प्यार प्यार बन के आए हो मेरी जिंदगी में तुम बाहर बन के इट्स फॉर यू थैंक यू ब्यूटीफुल थैंक यू थैंक यू थैंक यू thank you sir hmm. i have two questions yeah uh, in manifestation like the i first got scared seeing the whole diary <laughs> no that's the bible i'm taking home okay <laughs> so uh, about goal setting like in manifestation especially for entrepreneurs or even for those in the corporate now i know uh, like you mentioned in quantum we are limitless so my goals can be how much ever i want because for the universe i'm just a speck or even smaller but when we go back to the practical world then we come to this goal setting where we sit with the team they break down and then there is no quantum there is only 3d so how do we uh, you know keep alignment at that time when if i want a particular amount but my team is like you know this is not possible because past months we did this performance so this is what we have to do and only this much we can we should be targeting so we are limiting ourselves over there if i am correct so i would like you to enlighten us about that yeah and i have so, a question after that also yeah so goal setting is again from what level of consciousness you are setting your goal it's great to set a goal goals are nothing but goals are dreams with a deadline right you have a certain deadline yeah. and many times goal stretches you right so your goal should stretch you but not stress you right don't keep such a high goal that it you are in stress which makes you lose your alignment you lose your vibration then it is counterproductive but sometimes the goal can stretch you which is good sometimes works happen under pressure yeah? perturbation you know sometimes work happens under pressure 
which is so, so there's nothing wrong with setting goals also when you set goal many times it align the whole organization in a corporate structure and say then everybody knows one common intention one common goal right and then with that everybody knows of this time this time because work works expands with time right but when you have a timeline and you are at a state of consciousness but not everybody right so sometimes you have to be practical also so you put a timeline so everybody aligns with the timeline and then people know oh, this is the timeline so with that strong collective intention the intention also has a organizing power right then all the forces come together to make it happen right you 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 all again relate to each other because otherwise what happens is in your mind it is two months somebody's else mind it was six months so now you say this is a timeline like for pyramid valley every event for every event i set a goal so event to event we set goals so like now march this event happened now so i have a goal we have a set a goal for the team before next workshop i want all dormitories to be furnished like one dormitory we did the uh, we refurnished one dormitory we re revamped the whole dormitory now I, the goal is now till the next event we want all the dormitories to be like that okay. right so now it's a goal for the whole organization now so now everybody is aligned and many times it happens like before the event they wonder how it will happen but it happens because then they are working day and night and make it happen right and then it happens all the collective forces come together to make it happen so if there was no goal kar lenge ho jayega aaj wo nahi aaya aaj ye problem aaj ye issue you always have reasons right in the end you have reasons or results but when there is a goal then there is not much scope of reason the focus is on the goal the focus is on the solution not on the problem not on the hurdles so it's good but what from what state of consciousness are you setting the goals that is important and from what state of consciousness are you achieving your goals as i told you you should stretch you but not stress you if the goal develops resistance then the whole purpose is lost if the goal motivates and inspires everyone you know then it is great sometimes the goal develop goal when you set a goal it uh, it develops the momentum and then the momentum takes up right yeah thank you so the second question is in your app there is a past life regression so uh, past life regression usually i have seen we have regressionists who conduct that so if can somebody actually do it alone it is possible but it is always good to do with one on one session with a regression therapist but i mean if nothing then it is there yeah how does it help a person past life regression so in my app it is not past life regression it is life between life regression yeah, yeah. it very few very small section is going to the past life but more is it into in between life states in your last life when you vacated your body and in this lifetime before you chose the new body or before you took birth physically that in between state yeah in, in between the the consciousness state the spirit state so at that state what was your journey what was your plan what was your what was the soul's plan with what with what uh, soul plan did you took this birth why you chose whom you want in this lifetime why you chose this family why you chose this relationship why you chose this friend why you chose this spouse okay. right what what are the challenges you chose in this lifetime what lessons you needed to learn in this lifetime so that is what it is there thank so, you so that you become more aware True. once you understand that then one thing you also understand that we are we are we never die we always live forever second is you also understand your this life mission purpose and it gives lot of understanding it decodes lot of relationships situations all of sudden now you know the insight about it yeah yeah thank you thank you and keep inspiring yeah thank you hi shans this Hello. is nandini here she's given me permission to ask multiple questions so i'm going to <laughs> okay. go ahead and ask multiple questions 
Mm. So um, we spoke about recognizing patterns and then making the shift uh, when you see a pattern repeating. Uh, for a while, I have, for a while meaning like for a few years now, I have been aware of a particular pattern, especially in my professional life, where I uh, seem to uh, create toxic co-workers. Um, I've become aware of the pattern. Um, I think for quite some time I was not taking responsibility that I was uh, part of the problem of creating such patterns. But now that I recognize it and I'm aware that I have a big role to play in what is playing out, I don't know how to break it. So I would appreciate some guidance or some techniques that I can put into practice. So, I mean, I want to learn the lesson. I don't want to keep repeating the pattern. Right, right. So, So suppose, first, I don't know exactly what pattern is, I understand, but maybe you use harsh language, suppose, for the example. Hmm. So the moment you are using harsh language, or the moment you already use harsh language, you become aware of it, hmm. right? And maybe you say sorry, or, you know, I don't mean it. Hmm. Maybe you focus on... Uh, so it's, what is more important so it is, is to... It is usually with my bosses, so it is definitely not harsh language. Yeah, so, uh, so I, I, if you can tell me more exactly, then I can give you more so, exact. So uh, it becomes a breakdown of trust at some point in time. I mean, it starts out as a, as a great, fantastic uh, co-worker relationship, you know, very high performing relationship. Uh, and then something something happens, and then suddenly there is a lack of trust, and then everything goes south from that point on. Uh, it gets to a point like recently, it gets to a point where now I'm able to correlate and then I'm operating in the material world, lot of hard work, very, very hard work instead of being in the, in the flow. So now I can see that previously I was in the flow and now it feels like everything I'm doing is drudgery and it's like hard work so much so that um, impacts my health. I had life-threatening situations, stress levels, emotional breakdowns, you know, the whole, the whole gamut of it. So now I'm recognizing the pattern. Um, so, I, but I don't know what actions of mine is, uh, is triggering uh, those patterns. Now that I recognize it is a select few individuals and it is not like it was always, the relationship always started out on a toxic note. It's like, it's good and then something happens. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. Um, so yeah. And so on a related question, uh, you were talking about soul plans. So do soul plans only can, uh, associate with immediate family members? Let, let me answer one okay. by one. So coming to this pattern, so it's actually not about the boss. Hmm. Today this may be this one boss, boss. Tomorrow some other may come. Hmm. Right. So most of the time, our relationship is more about how we relate with ourselves. Hmm. Our relationship is a mirror of our relationship with ourselves. Mm. Your external relationship is a mirror reflecting your relationship with yourself. Mm. So what is important is to change your relationship with yourself. Right? Is there, is there a key to uh, how I respond to authority? No, no. I, I, I'm, uh, at this moment, uh, forget any external responses. Okay. Forget, forget about external action, mm. actions. Mm. When you meditate, when you do breath work, when you transform yourself emotionally, when you become more aware, mm. what is important is to first maintain your alignment, first maintain your right vibrational frequency. Mm. And then, and then, whatever you're doing, you'll do better. Mm. When your response will be, then, then you will not react, then you'll respond. Okay. Because you think, because we always think equal to our emotional state. Mm. Right? Mm. If we are in a state of uh, poor emotions, down emotions, will tend to be blaming others, angry, upset, talk something, or be arrogant, or feel guilty, or shameful, or whatever. But if you're in a heightened emotional state, mm. right? If you're in a state of love, joy, oneness, abundance, wholeness, healing, you know, then, when, then naturally right things will come. Okay. So that emotion will inspire to take the right action. Mm. So don't don't 
uh, think too much or the situation. Okay. Right. What is more important is your alignment. Uh, my alignment. And okay. then, then that alignment, according to your alignment, with your vibration. Right. And then, then, then the vibration will make will, will will inspire you to make the right choices, to make the right decisions, to use the right words, to do the right actions. And that vibration will also draw those situations into your life. Okay. Where all of a sudden, your boss understands that oh, you need time, or maybe he'll give you only that much work which you can do it at ease or maybe your productivity increases and your efficiency increases and that's still you 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 outsmart your own own past performance and still you have more time so it is all about first changing your vibration okay right hmm. and then and then then the vibration will take care of okay. itself so and and more important is to in spite of that sometimes the pattern comes up hmm. So it's important to re release resistance at the very first stages. When you are aware, you know, sometimes you can use silence. Okay, no, right now, oh, I'm getting triggered. Mm. So let me be silent. Let me respond after two hours. Mm. Your boss sends you some mail, some WhatsApp message, and you get triggered, and you respond nonstop, tuck, 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 and then he messages, and he may message, right? Sometimes you say, okay, this is the message. Fine, I'll respond after two hours. All once I find my alignment, once I found my composition, when I'm composed, when I'm calm, then I'll write the message. Mm. I'll think, I'll be aware of what I'm going to be write. Mm. And then use my words very carefully and then write or make a call or meet him, whatever. Yeah. So it's important to release resistance at the very first initial mm -hmm. indication, at the very first indication. Because at that time, it's, it's, it's the resistance is um, the energy of the resistance is not high. Hmm. The intensity is not high. Hmm. But if you feed that resistance, it keeps then, it, then it becomes stronger. Right? Yeah. But the moment you release resistance, the very first indication, then it will dissipate, it will dissolve. Thank you. And uh, you're talking about... And so when you get resistance, hmm. even then, the moment you realize it, then laugh at it. Don't take it so seriously. Okay. Oh my God, how can I think like that? I Don't do worry. tend to think that. So yeah, so, so the idea is to have light, light hearted. Mm -hmm. Whole spirituality is about light heartedness. Losing the seriousness. Mm -hmm. Have spontaneity. Right? Mm -hmm. It's a role. Your job is only you a role you are playing. Mm -hmm. Don't take that role also so seriously. Because you take the role so seriously, that whole seriousness comes. Mm -hmm. And you know, it's only a role. At that moment of time, you're wearing that cap. Cap, right. Bus. It's a temporary cap you're wearing. So don't take it so... Wear it, wear your ego like a loose-fitting garment. Mm. You're wearing the garment, but it's a loose-fitting. Mm. Thank you. Yeah? Yeah. And uh, uh, do soul contracts um, exist outside of the family circle as well? Of like course, of course. Friends, co-workers, enemies, partners. enemies, enemies. Yeah. Uh -huh. okay. Many times you choose somebody. You, many times you are like love birds in one lifetime, mm. and in next lifetime we choose to be perpetrator of each other, mm. and that you choose out of compassion. Mm. Okay, I'll trigger you. You will trigger me, so that we both grow together. Right? And sometimes we choose that. But again, that is a tool for evolution, for growth. For growth. Right. Okay. Thank you. Mm. I have a question related to the pyramid. So I noticed that uh, there's been a upgrade on one of the facades of the pyramid, the backside, I think. So I wanted to, uh, and you spoke this morning of being inspired by uh, many sacred places uh, to build the pyramid. So do all those, uh, uh, do all the patterns on the pyramid have a significance? Like yeah, a so it depends on four elements of nature. Okay. Earth, fire, wind. Okay. Yeah, so they're, like that. Yeah. They're, they're, Water, yeah. Okay. Thank you. Mm -hmm. uh, now a little kind of off the road uh, topic and it kind of got triggered by the experiment that you were showing 
about the chick and the little robo and almost like the emotional intelligence that the robo develops uh, with the chick and jumping topics into artificial intelligence uh, while it is pervasive right now technologically still there are many flaws in it we talk about uh, false uh, you know false positives uh, ai going rogue or there is this phenomena called the hallucination of artificial intelligence the ai starts hallucinating responses that it was not programmed uh, to do so i wanted to take that in the context of what we have been talking about as superconscious and consciousness existing uh, even in a robo which is really a mechanical thing um, and wanted to know what your views are on how this whole um, space is evolving and just wanted to know your thoughts so how i look at it is ai or any new technologies which is coming up say virtual reality augmented reality or any new to so it is technology is not bad mm. right mm. it is a use which determines good or bad correct right nuclear can be used to generate power nuclear can be used as a nuclear bomb also right right so so technology in itself is not bad it is a use usage right ai in itself is not bad it can aid so many it can aid really human and accelerate the our journey mm. we don't need to spend time in mundane mundane things which mm. we've been otherwise doing it mm. and and spend more time in raising our consciousness right right which is so amazing mm -hmm. but of course the use of ai can also be it can be used to uh, as you said that somebody else speaking and somebody else voice and you know the fake fake part. thing the fake thing the deep fake and all what we are seeing it so it can be all used but all the more in today's time things will keep changing as i told you the time is time acceleration is really very fast now and very fast new technologies will keep coming so what is need is what for us what is need is adaptability question mm. how do we adapt to changes in our life due to new technologies but what remains is constant is your consciousness hmm. so if so all the more it is important to raise your vibration because if you do not know how to operate from that consciousness level in in this three dimensional reality you will always feel threatened hmm. you will always feel threatened by technology and rather than making you feel which is supposed to make us feel more secure more happy more joyful it is making us more lonely more socially disconnected more human inter interactions are getting lesser economically threatened economically threatened right so so what is important all the more is raising your vibration because then the vibration can help you because that is that that is not changing hmm. the law of attraction for the universe is not changing hmm. so that will that is which will keep, will keep you guiding you to the right path to right right intuitive path right creative path right innovative innovative path and you can and and you can still stay happy and because you are happy you will draw things which will continue to make you happy hmm. right right so otherwise all the more in three dimension reality if you continue to choose only to live in this three dimension then you'll all the time feel more threatened right like in spite of the social media the world they say is has never been more lonely as there ever before true mm -hmm. the sole social media which is supposed to Connect. form easy connects and which is doing also but in spite of that we feel more lonely so 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 what is important is your vibe, your consciousness and that is why it is more relevant today than ever before pehle to kya tha na ki our grandfathers great grandfathers life generally bhi bahut simple thi there were hardly so many things to aspire to now because of technology because of uh, capitalism because of growth now because you see things now you want to buy it and because the all the advertisement all the world makes you believe ki only you will be happy if you have this because your neighbors have it 
your friends have it so how can you not have it so all the more we are outwardly driven mm. so this is a so all the more it is important now to find your inner connection so that we find that balance right mm. but at the same time it's again a great time in the olden days all, most of the people used to go most of the lives were lost in wars and famines and and some small disease can come up or some plague or some this and many people died today we are because of science and technology we are also evolved to a point where this it is it is it is world is still much more peaceful than how it used to be uh, there is millions of people die because of religion the war used to be waged for religion a nuclear bomb can destroy the whole world but if you look at it it's also a reason for peace you don't want to wage a war against even the smallest country because of because you know they have a nuclear and if the nuclear bomb if they use nuclear the whole earth will be planet will be destroyed so bhai is rather you have peace so again everything has a plus and minuses uh, so a related question could something like ai develop consciousness as consciousness that we have been talking about i don't know whether that's good or bad but see we don't know what life will offer what future will be there what technology will come up all i'll say is we d- never resist changes why don't fight forces use them the smartness is how do you use it to your advantage simple na? why fight it if you say ai is bad ai is bad you'll attract more ai which is bad if you say ai is great let me use it to my advantage then you'll use it to your advantage so life will always be complicated there will be always be changes very rarely life will go as you planned so don't never resist changes in fact it is again it is again a opportunity to innovate to do something better to create to 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 do something in a creative way Thank you. Thank you Thank so you. much. Thank you. Just say your name, where are you from, what you do and then ask. Me. So my name is Karan. I am from Jabalpur, MP. Ha uh-huh. ha. Take care of the store here. Ah, okay, Karan. <laughs> good, good. So my question is uh, I have seen observe your name that is Shreyans. So you have a very different name. There is no y or there is no h, but the pronun- pronunciation remains the same. little louder uh, yeah but, but the pronunciation remains the same mm. as shreyans mm. so changing the spelling does it affect your uh, what your personality we see many actors they change their names put a n after it or a r extra 2 3 hours so what is it so yes so my name was s h r e y a n s initially but there was at one time i was reading linda goodman's back on book on numerology star signs and i said no my s h r e a n s has a better number so at that time i changed it but not that now at this level i i i i for me it doesn't matter now now i don't give so much importance to any of the logies <laughs> you know whether it's astrology or numerology but at the same time it's a science but i think the biggest science is of raising your consciousness and the greatest tool is meditation for me so now it doesn't matter but abhi theek hai naam jo hai wo hai it doesn't matter acha hai thoda halka hi ho gaya na ek ek alphabet aur kam ho gaya so does pronunciation or a name sounding names uh, does it have effect on you see everything has effect i think numerology is a science astrology is a science uh, crystal is a science stones are a science vastu is a science what all multiple things you know everything has an impact but how does it impact you is is the the impact is on your thoughts and emotions it doesn't happen automatically the impact is on your thoughts and emotions and the thoughts and emotions has an internal impact on your vibration and then according to your vibration you draw things into your life so 
ये सब जो है ना वन वन परसेंट है लाइफ के आई कैन मास्टर माई थॉट इन इमोशन एंड नाइनटी टू नाइनटी फाइव परसेंट नाइनटी सिक्स इम्पैक्ट कैन कम थ्रू मेडिटेशन थ्रू कनेक्टिंग टू माई कॉन्शियसनेस बिकॉज कॉन्शियसनेस इज अल्टीमेट सो वाई नॉट डायरेक्टली कनेक्ट टू माई कॉन्शियसनेस एंड ट्रांसफॉर्म माई थॉट्स एंड इमोशन राइट सो वाई वाई लूज वाई फोकस ऑन वन परसेंट दिस एलिफेंट इन द रूम अब वो हाथी को छोड़ के मैं हाथी की धूम पकड़ के बैठा हूँ कभी वास्तु कभी न्यूमोलॉजी कभी एस्ट्रोलॉजी कभी ये कभी वो तो आई एम नॉट अगेंस्ट इट आई एम नॉट सेंग दिस डज नॉट हैव एन इम्पैक्ट और दिस नो साइंस बिहाइंड इट इट इज डेफिनेटली गुड बट बट आई हैव अ बेटर टेक्नोलॉजी आई हैव अ बेटर टूल फॉर ट्रांसफॉर्मिंग माई थाट एंड इमोशन देन आई यूज दैट टूल एंड फोकस ऑन दैट टूल क्योंकि वी ऑल हैव लिमिटेड टाइम राइट आई मीन आई सी इट एज अ बिजनेस मैन कि आई वॉन्ट टू इन्वेस्ट माई टाइम विच गिवज मी हाइस्ट रिटर्न सो इन्वेस्टिंग इन माई टाइम इन माई कनेक्टिंग टू माई कॉन्शियसनेस गिवज मी हाइस्ट रिटर्न इन फॉर्म ऑफ ट्रांसफॉर्मिंग माई थॉट एंड इमोशन एंड इन टर्न चेंज माई वाइब्रेशन तो मैं उसमें टाइम ज़्यादा दूँ आई डोंट बॉदर अबाउट कौन सा स्टार है क्या अभी कौन सा मोहरत है क्या है कौन सा अरे मैं कहाँ सो रहा हूँ वास्तु ठीक है नहीं है क्या है या या एस्ट्रोलॉजी न्यूमोलॉजी बिकॉज एट द एंड इट हैज इम्पैक्ट ऑन थॉट्स एंड इमोशंस एंड वाई नॉट डायरेक्टली मास्टर योर थॉट्स एंड इमोशन वैन यू आर बेटर टूल टू डू इट सो जस्ट फॉलो दैट Uh, one more question it's a follow up to a lady that asked about ai but again this is for me now there are some people who are drawn to do the crystal work they are drawn to be a healer that is the soul's path that is the soul's journey so i honor that some people are drawn to be a tarot reader and they are amazing in what they do so and i honor their journey there is no judgment about what they should do and they should not do for me this works and that's what i do and that's what i teach yeah, yeah. sir one follow up uh, question a lady came just before sir as the processing power of the uh, machines keep increasing they tend to assume more and more functions like uh, translating and all so is there a stage where it comes towards self aware machines that we see in movies like matrix and terminator the machines getting self aware so that's a function of consciousness right so i feel eventually the more the technology evolves eventually it will come to a point where the technology will help you raise your consciousness right like right now there are so many new quantum energy devices which you are going to put it all in pyramid valley now in a years time we are developing we are planning to develop to build a whole quantum energy center where the devices there there are no there are many devices which has come where you need to you need to take medicine it directly changes your vibration in frequency it directly works on your energy body which can help which can accelerate your healing which can accelerate your which can help you in your emotional transformation so there are light and sound machines where you wear a eye mask at certain light frequency and certain pattern of light and with certain sound where you just wear it and you are able to go into the alpha state much faster into a theta state delta state much faster right so i feel technology is evolving and eventual technology will be the technology will help us accelerate raising our consciousness and that will be amazing i'm i'm waiting for how soon the augmented reality and virtual reality gets popular and gets everywhere so that i don't need to travel and i can teach sitting here and people are think, thinking that i am teaching them in front of them so it will be amazing right so so technology is super exciting and and i feel as technology evolves eventually it will lead to help them raise their consciousness kyun kya hoga abhi kitna ho gaya abhi mobile aa gaya flying cars aa jayenge fir at the end to fir astral travel hi aaye <laughs> कोई टेक्नोलॉजी होगी बटन दबाओ यू कंप्लीटली गोइंग टू अ डेल्टा स्टेट एंड देन यू आर ट्रैवलिंग वेर एवर यू वांट टू ट्रैवल देन दे कम टेलीपोर्टेशन सो 
I feel this will be a natural evolution. It will be great if we see in our lifetime. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, good evening, sir. Firstly, I would like to say it's an honor to meet you. Thank you. Uh, so, I recently... Just uh, say your name. Where are you from? What do you do? Uh, yeah. My name is Praneet. I am currently in 12th class and I am from uh, Kundalali, Bangalore. Uh, so, firstly, I got to know meditation about my father, from my father. I know about from the past one and a half, two years. I've done it. The, yours only, the one hour manifestation creation, five steps, that one. So, I would like to know how do I build consistency in meditation? Like, it's pretty straightforward. How do I build consistency in meditation? Just by doing it. Just by doing it. Like, I've tried, like, uh, there's one more thing, right? Uh, if I try to force myself, I can't do it. So, like, how do I make myself fall in love, uh, love with meditation so I don't need to do anything? It just comes to me. Like, I get the thought to do meditation, but then, like, I get distracted or something and I'm not able to... I sit down, but then I lose focus. So, just take a discipline for 40 days. 40 days, I'll do come what may. Right? So, initially, yeah, like, like any instrument, if you want to learn, you say, Arey, oh, guitar bajaya tha, but oh, mere se to baja nahi. So, I left it, yeah. Phir, do mene wad man hua, Arey, chalo. So, you can never, any skill, you will never be able to do it unless there is a consistency. And once you do that consistency, once you learn guitar after 40, for 40 days regularly and now you are able to play, then you will have the muscle memory for one year, you will have the muscle memory. You will immediately pick up soon. So, until you come to a point where you taste that nectar, that, that, so 40 days is something which you can do it, to the point where it comes that you, 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 now you have tasted that inner joy. You, now you have tasted that peace. Now you have tasted that calmness, that clarity, that intuition. Now that you have tasted that, oh, it doubles my co concentration in my studies. Right? Now you have developed that, oh, I am actually happy from within. I don't care about what people are commenting in my school about me or somebody is triggering. I don't get triggered. Once you experience that, then you'll naturally not leave it. Right? So, but 40 days, take a commitment that I will do it every day for whatever time you decide, but I'll do it every day. Then, 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 it, then you'll do it on your own. It might sound silly, like everyone tells like build a habit for 21 days, do it c c continuously, what, whatever may come, like I want to push, I'm not able to do that. Like you're telling build a habit for 40 days. Many people told me, but like that, I know that once I do it for 40 days, it'll become a regular routine for me. But I'm not able to do that. Like continuously do it for 40 days. That one I'm not able to do. There's no question. There's no question of you're not able to do it. You know? Uh, no, okay, I... try to hold my hand. Try, 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 try. No, try. Say try. <laughs> so there is no trying. When you say I am trying but it is not happening. It is a commitment. You need a commitment. No, I am I, I, I am doing it. I will do it. Come what may. If you say no, it is not happening. I am trying but it is not happening. There is nothing that stops you. You just have to do it. Put on the meditation guided. Yeah, maybe you don't need to do one hour. Maybe you can do just 20 minutes, 30 minutes. No, yeah, like even like 20, 30 minutes like Every day. I want it to be every day. So just do it. Saying that I, I, I'm trying but it's not happening is like saying that I don't want to. It's, it's actually saying that if it is your priority, then you will do it. Do you try to eat food? No. No, it's like you know, you particularly don't try to eat. You know, it's your priority. Without that, you won't survive. That's why you eat it. That's exactly. what I feel. So, if you want to be life to be glorious, life to be joyous, life to be amazing, so why wouldn't you do meditation? And the fact that you're here and your father guided you and you chose to come here, it's not that everybody, a lot of parents say, I tell my children, they didn't come. But you chose to be here, so you have that inclination. So don't fight for your limitations, whether it is meditation or anything about life. 
if you keep fighting for your limitation, I can't do it, I can't do it, no, if I do it, I just thoughts come. If you master one thing, even if you make up a point that, oh, I've mastered meditation, you'll master everything in your life. How you, one, how you do one thing is how you do everything. Right? So, if you learn to, to master one thing, if, how, if, you learn to master, if you learn to have victory over one thing, you can get victory over everything. Because it is about your attitude. If your attitude is this towards meditation, then your attitude will be this towards anything else also in life. Oh no, I can't do this. Then you'll say, Arey, no, I can't do this. But if you think you cannot do this, you're all right. If you think you can do this, you're all right. If you think you can, you can. If you think you cannot, you cannot. So it's about change of thinking. I can. The moment you say I can, that can will empower you to do it. And just do it. There's not, there's not much to be talk, spoken about this. You don't need any more knowledge. You don't need much. If you're thirsty, I'll tell you, oh, water, such a beautiful thing. H2O, two portion of hydrogen, one portion of oxygen. I'll give you one hour lecture on water. Will it quench your thirst? No. What do you have to do? We have to physically drink water. So just physically do meditation. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Good. <laughs> Next time, come back as a teacher of meditation. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Come, come, come. Sorry, thank you. Yeah, sir. Uh, my name is Ravi from please, Bangalore. Please, yeah. Yeah, very honored to be here because I have been doing a lot of meditations and uh, uh, I proudly say that Sadhguru Inner Engineering has not given me the feel of what uh, Shayan's Jaga meditation has given me. So I proudly, I am very happy to be sitting here. So from 2020, I have been doing your meditations and trust me, they have given me what I have dreamt. The manifestation meditation has given me what I have been looking for. And I have been forcing my son to do it, to change his attitude. While he does it, yeah, he, he is facing those uh, teething challenges. He is improving. Now, the question that I have here is, right? See, I know that emotions are energy in motion. When I do the manifestation, I am happy for that one hour. For the next couple of hours, I am happy. But the next day morning, I, I get up. The person that I am... Again, those negative thoughts keep coming in mind. So again, I have to go into the meditation to, to raise my consciousness. Yeah. So, I've been doing meditation from four years, but why am I not able to control those negative emotions? Uh, why am I not, uh, I'm not able to say stop? I, I consciously say, yeah, now, yeah, be positive. Be positive, you're doing, I, I'm into meditation. So I kind of literally change my thought process. I divert into something else. But is there a way wherein I can say, stop thinking negative? So first thing you said, I've been forcing my son. To do meditation. Because right. so, I, I'm seeing that... So I would say, don't force anybody. Okay. Right? You give him about your experience, give it about, share about your transformational journey, inspire him to do it, but okay. don't force him. Okay. Force creates resistance. Makes sense. Maybe I know now where the resistance is coming from. You are the culprit. <laughs> <laughs> no, joking, but, but don't force anyone. Oh. Give them a choice. Give them, share your journey. Maybe it will come back, come to them. But don't, you don't have to force them. Oh. Right? Of course, if they are inclined to, then guide them. Yeah. But don't force. Right? Secondly, because force creates resistance. Either they will become, either they'll re become rebellion, rebellious, or they will just follow what you're saying and lose their own identity. 
लूज देयर ओन सॉवरिनिटी लूज देयर ओन इंडिविजुअलिटी देल बिकम वेरी सबमिसिव और वीक और देल बिकम रेबिलियस सो इधर वेज इट इज इधर थिंग इज नॉट गुड राइट सो डोंट फोर्स गाइड देम एडवाइज देम इंस्पायर देम बट डोंट फोर्स राइट नाउ कमिंग टू द पॉइंट ऑफ नेगेटिव इमोशंस सो इमोशन इन इट सेल्फ इज नॉट नेगेटिव अगर कोई नेगेटिव इमोशन आया है डोंट फाइट इट डोंट रेजिस्ट आ जाता है दिमाग में सुबह में उठते ही कुछ नेगेटिव थॉट्स आता है फिर से मेडिटेशन में चले जाता हूँ राइट सो वेर इज द वेर डज द थॉट कम फ्रॉम फ्रॉम योर इमोशंस राइट एट दिस से शुरू में क्या होता है बचपन में छोटे रहते हैं ना तो थॉट से इमोशंस पैदा होते हैं सोचते हैं वैसे इमोशंस आते हैं बट एज वी बिकम हार्ड वायर्ड एज वी बिकम एडिक्टेड टू एन इमोशन टू इमोशंस देन इमोशन स्पॉन्सर द थाट्स सो डोंट वरी अबाउट द थाट्स फोकस ऑन ट्रांसफॉर्मिंग योर इमोशन बिकॉज यू थिंक इक्वल टू योर इमोशनल स्टेट जब इमोशनल ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन आएगा ना तो नेचुरली थाट्स विल चेंज एंड अगर थाट नेगेटिव आ भी गया द मोमेंट यू बिकम अवेयर ऑफ इट लाफ एट इट इतना सीरियसली क्यों लेना एंड विच यू डूइंग इट राइटली ना आई यू 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 डोंट गिव इट अटेंशन टू दैट एंड यू थिंक अबाउट समथिंग पॉजिटिव समथिंग डिस्ट्रैक्ट बट नॉट फ्रॉम अ स्टेट ऑफ रेजिस्टेंस ओ बैड थॉट गो अवे नो इट्स नॉट अबाउट दैट नो आई विल नॉट गिव एनर्जी टू दैट थाट आई विल नॉट फीड मोर ऑफ दैट थाट आई विल नॉट क्रिएट मोर स्टोरी अराउंड इट टू टू जस्टिफाई दैट थाट ओके राइट आई कैन डिस्ट्रैक्ट माई सेल्फ टू डू समथिंग एज ऑफ फोकस ऑन समथिंग something positive something good some solution oriented okay right so and, and and the moment the very back that you became aware of that thought seeing is freeing yes the very back fact that you became aware of it the door the door will open to a to a to your the door the door opens to your consciousness think uh, so just awareness is the key that's it and the, the moment you become aware then don't flow with that thought don't feed more of that thought don't create don't entertain more stories around that thought okay cuz mind loves stories ego loves to create stories and justify those thoughts so you know that this is the ego playing it so ego so don't take your ego also so seriously na laugh at it there's nothing wrong with the ego there's nothing wrong with ego we need ego to survive we need ego to live in this three dimension reality the only problem with the ego is ego is unconscious in the very fact you become witness to the thought to the mind to the to to your ego egoic self you, the very fact you become witness you separate from your egoic self if you are not a witness if you cannot become a witness and still be a egoic self Yeah, right yeah making sense the very fact you become a witness you separate from your egoic self and the 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 moment you become witness now you're seeing it as a third person it will lose its intensity so how battle is won when you are a witness 90% of the battle is done the moment you become a witness from it because that moment you become separate and you are a meditator you know how oh, i am that divine consciousness now you understand this is the ego playing that thought so see it as a spectator right don't 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 take it too serious the moment you identify with that the moment you 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 become serious with that thought the moment you say oh my god how am i thinking like that you again identify with that thought again you lose the witness and again you are now with one with the thought see it's like a movie screen right you project a movie on the screen sometimes there's a villain on the movie playing a negative role sometimes there's a hero on the movie playing a positive role right but what is happening to the screen does the screen becomes negative no Not does the screen becomes positive no screen is neutral so consciousness is neutral ego loves to project negative right so you are consciousness you are that screen blank screen so just be a witness just be a witness and aware that you got a negative thought move out of that thought just just be the witness and just move out 
get it. Divert your attention. Don't add any story to that thought. You will naturally move out. I, 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 that, that's a practical answer which actually I was looking for. So emotion in itself is not unhappiness. Emotion plus an unhappy story is equal to unhappiness. Right. If you just, even, there's no, it's not about negative emotion. We need fear to survive. Yeah. Fear is to our advantage. We need certain amount of fear to survive. If I am throwing something at you, you have an impulse to protect yourself. Right. Because that fear helped you to save you. Right. Absolutely. The tiger is attacking you, the fear helps you to run. So, so it has its own purpose. But what happens is, you create story around... So if you embrace it fully, it will dissipate. But if you create the story around it, then it will entangle you. Then you become a part of the story. So the moment you have a witness consciousness, the moment you are aware, no, I will not add any story. I will not feed in the story. So there is a story. Inside us, there lives two wolves. Inside each of us lives two wolves. One wolf, wolf is a very positive, loving, peaceful, happy wolf. Another wolf is a very jealous, angry, furious wolf. If there, are, if there is a fight between these two wolves, which one will win? Second one, because you are giving more energy, energy to it. Which one? So, it depends on your thought process. If you are giving more energy to the negative wolf, that will win. But if you are giving more energy to the positive wolf, calm, uh, the good wolf, that will win. Exactly. So the one whom you feed, and who, how do you feed? Through your thoughts, through your attention. So one you feed will win. Yeah. So in all of us, we have both the wolves. But what are you feeding it? Whom are you feeding more? That is all. With your attention, with your stories. Thanks. Thank, Thank you, you so much. Thank you. So nice to see kids. Yes. Hi, sir. She is my computer. Huh? <laughs> I'm very scared of her. <laughs> Hi, sir. I'm a fan of you. Thank and you. I use your app. So my question is, my papa has many works. So he does not take time for me. So how to connect? How to connect with your papa? Throw tantrums. <laughs> so no, but yeah. So every child is a need to connect. That is a very human nature. That every child is is a need to. They need time of your parents, and 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 it is not. It is for them to actually realize. To to realize their need. This is a human need to connect. It is, it is for them to realize that, no, this is the time. That, that we have only 12 summers with our child. We only have 12 summers with our child. Because after that, they will not need you. You may have time, but then they will not need you. So, so don't take this time for granted. So, as a parent, we need to learn her question is a actually wake up call for all the parents that we need to spend time with your parents. And what they need is your time. What they need is, is your full presence. And maybe you may give little, maybe you have less time. But at least whatever time you have, you can give it the most qualitative time. No mobile phone, no distraction, fully aware, fully present. Many times what we did, even I many times do as a parent. Oh, I, I'm there but I, I, I on a mobile phone. Then I become aware, no, I have to be, okay, now, now I started doing you, I'm with my child, I leave the phone somewhere else, I leave it on the table aside. Otherwise there's always something important to reply, there's always something urgent to reply. But make, give your full presence, offer your full presence. Right? Because as a child, for a child, the parents are the world. 
that is that is all the all the world to them is the parents the mother the father they need both masculine and feminine that's how they develop their masculine mascul masculine aspect and their feminine aspect from the mother and father and if the parents don't give them attention if the parents don't give them enough time then they grow up thinking that the world do not have a time for them because for them the parents are the world how they reflect how their relationship reflect from their parents become their relationship with the world as they grow then they grow up thinking the world do not have time for me i have to prove myself to 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 that i am worthy of their attention i am worthy of their time then as they grow then they they, they focus on proving yourself themselves to the world i am worthy and why they want to to become an engineer or a chartered accountant because um, because my parents want me to become so because i never got time from them as a child now i will do which will make them happy so that i get their attention or get their time many a times for a child they are not able to express their all emotions it could be negative emotion it could be anger but it is their home if they don't express their emotion there where would they express but as a parent we condemn them we condemn their expression then the child feels oh if i express any negative emotion i get a time out but if i behave nicely oh my sister behave nicely and she get all the attention from my parents so for a child if it is a choice between between parents attention or or authenticity they choose attention then then they become unauthentic they will pretend to be good they'll pretend to do what my parents like me to do so that i get their attention so that i get their appreciation and in the bargain they lose their authentic connection with their own self and they are maintaining a facade all the time and that is a huge stress on them because all the time they have to pretend to make their parents happy and this is a huge stress on them so it is important for us parents to learn from the children to to let them express their authentic emotion not condemn them because this is their home this is their home and and don't focus on the expression behind the expression there is a need many a time the child throws tantrum not because they want to throw tantrum because when they throw tantrum then they get parents attention that is the only time the parents give them attention if you are peaceful and happy parents don't even bother about you but when you throw tantrum all of a sudden they listen to you so then they start throwing tantrum to get parents attention but behind any expression there is an unmet need so as a parent what we understand need to understand is what is the need behind that expression don't judge the expression there is an unmet need behind that expression there is an unmet need behind the tantrum or behind their anger behind their frustration behind their arrogance so what as a parent is what is important is we we, we understand their need and and meet their need thank you if your parents are listening maybe they will make a change you don't need to do anything they need to do yeah and i wanted to sing one sutra by guru gobind singh ji you want to sing a sutra yes please please ajay ale abe abe abu aju anasaka agand panch alakh apak अकानिया अले कवि अनामका गाड़ा अनाते ब्रह्माते अजोनी अमोनी नराते नरंगे न रूपे न रेखे अखर मन न भर मन न गंजे ये लिखे थैंक यू ब्यूटीफुल ब्यूटीफुल Lovely, lovely. 
so good. So good. Thank you. So friends, many a time the work about parent and child relationship is more about healing the child within the parent. Parents also had their own childhood. The inner child is still not healed. So it's more about healing their child within the parent, healing your child within the parent, as a parent, your inner child. Again, meditation, breath work, awareness. Also, see, parenting is something which, which you don't just learn with spirituality. This is my experience. Because spirituality will not, which will make you joy, which will make you graceful, joyful, understanding. But many times, as a child, child goes to different stages of growth. A child is different when they are between 0 to 6. A child is different until the age of 12. A child is different when they are at a teenage stage. They, they, they are going through hormonal changes. A child is different when they are at the age of 18 or 20. You know, so, so we have to learn different stages of the child growth and to understand their emotional pattern, their, their hormonal changes. Until the age of 12, the child is only absorbing. They are only receptive. Until 0 to 6, they are only in a delta state. Alpha state. A delta state, then they are only in the alpha state. After 12, they start accessing beta and high beta. So till that child is only absorbing what they are seeing from the parents' behavior. Like a sponge, they are only absorbing, absorbing. But after the age of 12, now they can also access beta. So now all of a sudden child responds. And you wonder what happened to the child. But child is only mirroring what they have learned in first 12 years from you. Through your actions, through your emotions. And then they are only, and then you wonder, Are what happened to my child? This is not the my child. Until six months back, he was so good. She was so good. Baby, baby, kuchu, kuchu, oh my baby. All of a sudden, she is seeking independence. Oh, I am losing my control. I don't like that. I don't like their expression. But they are only mirroring, reflecting what you taught them, what they learned from you. And then when you don't like them, inside, you're, it, is, it is reflecting your shameful imperfections. So to hide them, now you label them. But labels are for jars, not for human beings. And then you label them. And they started believing that, oh, we, I'm, there's something, I'm incomplete, there's something, I, I, I'm, I'm not enough. They start believing that I'm not enough. And they grow up, and they think that the, then they grow up thinking that the world thinks that they are not enough. Then at the age of 21, it can lead to some mental disorder. There are some neurocircuitries in the brain, which happens in the early stages of childhood. They don't, they don't develop that brain circuitry. And then it leads to mental disorder. So, many times as a parent, Rather than trying, and then we run to doctors, then we wake up. Many times, if we learn the parenting skills at the early stage, then we will not have to spend so much time in later years of our life trying to remedy our, 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 our parenting, our skill of parenting. It is easy to repair. It is easy it is easy to teach a child than to repair a broken man. It is easy to teach a child than to repair a broken man. As they grow up, then they grow up being broken. Then you try to repair them. Thank you. Yeah. Hello, sir. Uh, I'm Janya and I'm from Ahmedabad. Uh, I play golf on the national level and I want to take it Maybe. professionally. So, um, in other sports also you see like tennis, 
the world number one is 21. Men's world number one is 21. And sometimes I feel that I'm already 17 and people are achieving success at such a young age. And I feel I'm getting left behind. So what do I do then? So I think meditation, creative visualization is a great tool for excelling, especially golf. Yeah. So the idea is every night before you go to sleep, yeah. rehearse your golf in the mind, yeah. rehearse your shots in the mind. That will give you an edge over others. They are doing practice. Yeah. But what you need to do is familiarize your brain with the perfect shots. Yeah. Right? And, and when, then, in whole night, your brain is working on it. You think you're sleeping, but your brain is working. And next day morning when you grow to play golf, you will amaze yourself. Oh my God, how, how did I play so good? Yeah. My shot was amazing. You'll surprise yourself. Your, your coach will be wondering. Yeah. Physically, you don't practice so much, but your performance is much better than your level of practice. But you're mentally rehearsing. You're, you're teaching your subconscious mind, right? And that is the edge, that will give you edge. Mm. And don't limit, don't, there's no limitation to human potential, yeah. right? So don't, don't even think, oh, I'm this age, what I'm going to do. Don't focus on the problem. Don't focus on your limitations. Don't think that you will become a good golfer at the age of 21. Right now, think that you are an amazing golfer. Yeah. And then also don't think about competition. It is, doesn't matter you are number one or number two or number five. What is important is you are, you are an amazing golfer. Focus on, because when you focus on competition, that will create resistance. Then that will create comparison. Then comparison will create resistance. But Focus on, be your best, be your, what is your best version of yourself? Yeah. What is your best benchmark? What is your best milestone that you want to achieve? Right? See that happening as if you have done now, this is your shot and this is what I have achieved. This was your angle, this was your th yeah. flow, whatever it is, whatever your terminologies are. Think, in, think everything. Yeah. Right? Spend... If you spend, say, four, how much hours did you play golf spend in the, on the field? Six to seven hours a day. Six to seven hours a day. So, instead of six to seven hours, if you spend five hours yeah. golfing and one hour visualizing, yeah. it will be equal to your 50 hours of actually playing golf. So, not only, so you'll save a lot of time. So, so don't worry, what you thought you'll achieve by 21, you'll achieve while you're 18. So don't think, oh, I'm wasting my time meditating. You are actually enhancing your skill. In five hours, you'll enhance much more skill than you'll do that by additional doing your time in meditation or visualizing. So imagine more, imagine little more and act little less. And that is the game. Also, I've read the Power of Your Subconscious Mind book and I've done visualization also before going to sleep. Uh, so I can imagine myself winning on the highest level, playing my best golf. But there's always a little doubt in my head. But I can see it, but I still don't believe it completely. So again, I'll tell you the goal is not winning. The goal is not competition, the goal is not winning. Ego loves to play that goal. If the world record is something, the goal is to break that world record. Yeah. Not against somebody. Your, the goal is not to be against somebody. The goal is for something. Yeah. Right? The very act of being against somebody creates resistance. The very act of being for something creates empowerment. 
so don't think about doesn't matter keep winning losing aside you are playing for your passion you are playing for the love of it you are playing because you enjoy it but what if winning gives me the enjoyment winning will come automatic winning is the by product yeah. winning will happen naturally winning is the by product if you think about winning it will stress you yeah. what do you want you want to be remembered as world's best golfer or or you have broken so many records or you won one match i have broken so many records right so so focus on that focus on excelling not excelling as a golfer not excelling against somebody right the focus has to be on your excellence yeah. right thank you sir thank you thank you sir so my name is som i'm from bangalore um, i'm also retired sort of thing <laughs> so um, actually um, whatever you're doing directly impacting the ascension process it is a bang on actually after coming here i realized you are just working for the 5d ascension that was a is a great thing actually so okay my I'm question i'm working more on grounding than on ascension <laughs> <laughs> no because i'm uh, closely following the ascension process yeah. so when i came here i really realized it's bang on <laughs> so because uh, quantum physics and uh, all frequency in or talks about that okay my question is um quantum entanglement so we all have come from the source so since uh, the and we know the principle of quantum entanglement so we are always connected to the source right whenever i mean whenever we sit in meditation we can visualize the source energy is connected and we are downloading the uh, energies from the source directly that will give us a lot of uh, it's not about visualizing it I mean, okay. it's about it's a feeling it it's about uh, feeling it yeah right that feeling will naturally happen okay right? visualization can be some tool but it's not like oh when you visualize and it, it just happens it's not a button you press and it happens it's it's not more about getting it it's more about dropping your resistant thoughts transforming your resist, resistant emotions when that emotions go away when the wall you already divine we created a wall with those negative emotions with those limited emotions as in our in our innocence to survive right we created those walls once you drop the wall you are connected right so you don't need to seek connection hmm what you need to seek is to drop those walls to drop those fear based survival emotions and that naturally happens when you observe your breath when you become nobody nothing because when you drop resistance when you drop become when you drop your identity your resistance drops and you find connection okay and you also said that if one is changed other will change automatically so is that like i mean uh, actually we all have to be equivalent to the source because we have come from there and entanglement principle says that whatever is happening in the source the pure consciousness so basically that should reflect on us directly but but we have been uh, layers of our negativity has blocked that basically right because uh, because as per quantum entanglement whatever happens there should happen to us because we are connected so that that is already there ha huh, that's what we we are like ajay ala she said right we are that pure correct ajay nobody we are ajay ala abhay so we are all that already we are we are we are born with the same characteristics of the divine already it is there right as i told you na consciousness is like the screen hmm. whatever movies are playing the screen the screen is there's not the screen is neutral static yeah our soul conscious 
Yeah, that is that consciousness. That screen is neutral. Correct. Mind it is the identity, mental projections. Hmm. That keeps changing. Once you drop those projections, you are the screen. You realize that, oh, I am that expanded consciousness. So, uh, as per the Big Bang theory, I mean, whatever it is, so we all are particles, every particle is from the same source, like, right? I mean, everything is Shiv, what, whatever in Sanatana Dharma we call everything is Shiv. So the same conscious exists in me and this chair, I mean, it should be that way or I mean, how is it like? Uh, so I would say everything came from the same source. Hmm. Everything came from the same source. Okay. My second question is, uh, in your meditation you said the soul is here. But and also, you know, a lot of times, whether it is science, quantum science, whatever it is, spirituality, you only need to know what you need to know. Mind loves to play games again. Then, are why, what, analyze this, that, 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 that. I have come to, as a human birth to raise my consciousness, to transform my thoughts and emotions. I am not doing that. What is this? What is this? What is this? What is this? You may get lost in it. And there may not be any right answer. What is this? 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 No, I don't know. to analyze things. <laughs> I'm just listening to the story. You know? I'm from IT, so <laughs> I have this logical question. No, then, then it's that paralysis of analysis. It's like this light is running. You know? This light is running, the light is running, the button is running, the light is running. I don't know what that means. There is AC, hai, DC, how much feet wire is, how much current is, how much volt is, how much technology has evolved. Who discovered light? Are Thomas Edison? Kaise usne invention kiya? You can go endless questions. And you can get lost. It's like, you know, kisi ne, somebody, I, I shoot you with bow, bow and arrow. With the arrow, and arrow aapke dil mein lag gaya. Abhi aapka kaam kya hai? Sabse pehle aap kya karoge? But now what are you doing? You are not taking it away. Who has killed it? This arrow is made of metal. How much time did it take to make it? So you are dying here. First of all, save yourself, brother. First of all, focus on your thoughts and emotions. No, no. Raise yourself first. When you get connected with consciousness, then that consciousness will give you all the answers. Okay. So, my... I'm also in my journey. I'm not an enlightened master. So, the answer of the enlightenment, I can't give you. Somebody asked Buddha, in Hindus, they said there are three, there are, in Hindu scriptures, there are three narakthines. So Buddha asked, how many are you with it? Buddha said, 300. Go, son, go and go. Now you have to die for it. So Buddha said, how many are you with it? Now Buddha said, how many are you with it? Now who is with it? Now who is with it? Buddha said, how many are you with it? Now who is 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 with it? Every dharam is different. बोलता है कोई कुछ बोलता है कुछ कोई और फिर लोग लड़ रहे हैं उसके लिए लोग लड़ रहे हैं उसके लिए मेरा राम सही है मेरा प्रॉफिट सही है लड़ते रहो अब किसने सही किसने गलत अब लड़ते रहो और वह राम और राहीम एक साथ बैठके खाना खा रहे हैं एंजॉय कर रहे हैं और सोच रहे बेचारे हंस रहे बेकुब लोग सो मेनी टाइम्स वी नीड टू फोकस ऑन वी नीड टू बी रियलिस्टिक वी नीड टू फोकस ऑन द प्रॉब्लम इन द हैंड 
क्योंकि कॉन्शियसनेस इज सच अ वास्ट थिंग कि ईगो माइंड लव टू टेक यू माइंड विल लव टू टेक यू दिस 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 मैं तो मैं तो कंप्यूटर वाला हूं ना राइट सो सो आई एम and i am not against curiosity but sometimes you have to you need to know where to limit your curiosity and in the hardcore it's like a b c d malum nahi abhi right and you are talking about einstein ke samne baith ke bade bade formula ki baat kar rahe ho aur ya uski class mein baith gaye to ab aap kya usko kya samjhayega aur kya bolega aur kya relevance rahega तो मैं भी अभी एबीसीडी वाला स्टूडेंट हूं एबीसीडी वाले क्वेश्चन पूछे मैं जवाब दे सकता हूं ओके ओके इन हार्ट कोरेंस यू आर सेइंग आई मीन ब्रीथिंग थ्रू द हार्ट राइट आई मीन सो हाउ शुड वी लाइक हाउ टू वी गो इट आई मीन वी शुड विजुलाइज दैट फनल सॉर्ट ऑफ अ थिंग एंड स्टार्ट ब्रीथिंग थ्रू द हार्ट और एक्चुअली व्हाट एग्जैक्टली यू डोंट नीड टू विजुलाइज एनी फनल नो एक्चुअली आई मीन या हाउ टू नो फनल नो टनल <laughs> okay but how to do that uh, breathing breathing Just the moment you visu- the moment you focus on your heart okay. you are naturally breathing from your heart with oh. wherever your attention goes your energy flows okay. just bring your attention here that's it okay. yeah Thanks. thank you Thanks. thank you yeah. good evening sir my name is raj so i have two question one is regarding the mindset and the another is regarding visualization sir uh, i was reading david goggins uh, so his book, what do you do uh, so i work as a relationship coach for men for men only men yeah okay. actually i don't solve their relationship problem i help them to get <laughs> into relationship <laughs> single men okay right thank you uh, so my first question was uh, david goggins so at least stick to single men only yes sir <laughs> the moment they become married phir aap bhi problem solve nahi kar paoge ah <laughs> uh, sir <laughs> yesterday when my mother was she said na i want my son to get married khud ki khushi aur uske uski khud khushi <laughs> sir i was there listening and i was wondering kaash meri mummy aa hoti <laughs> okay i'm just joking but sir. yeah so uh so i was reading david goggins never finished and to some extent i also related he said the skill set comes first and after the skill set then the mindset will come and we are focused much on mind and other things uh, aligning ourselves Hmm. and so in this case and there are a lot of other yogis rishis who put their body in extreme situation so how do you see that uh, what is your perception about that so Because what is your question the question is is that really to have that mindset a skill set is necessary hmm. like putting the body too much in pressure If, if whether it is a career whether it is a stock market whether it is a training industry whether it is a corporate job uh one can only have a mindset if there is a very extreme level of strong preparation and skill set so we don't need anything we don't need extreme always middle path right okay. extreme will also create resistance so no in no, nothing you need extreme the the journey has to be more joyful it is about the good journey right right so i don't know what ex- i still could not figure out what exact but but all i can say is there is nothing you need to be extreme mm-hmm. and everything is relative i have not read this book i don't know from what context is talking about skill set or mindset so i i may not be able to answer that question from what context because many times context is more important than the content mm-hmm. so maybe his context may be good may be right and may, it may not be right to answer to comment on it without understanding the context right sir so the second question was regarding the visualization uh i always have that problem of which and and as you said so what was your why what was your context of asking the rishis or some they do some extreme thing so, what was your context 
some people put the body in so much discipline, so much of extreme level of things, whether it is a sadhana, whether it is a physical workout, and this is the body and mind is interconnected. Uh, ideal mind cannot rest in a week or so they automatically put them in certain cases so that their mindset automatically evolves. So I just want to know your perception, like how true is that? So we don't need to be extreme towards your body. Because body is also because body is also temporary. Mm -hmm. Right? You may have the best physique. You may spend 6-6 six, six hours building your body. Great muscles, 7-pack, this, that. But you may, one fine day you may get a heart attack and lose your body. I have seen many people who are amazing bodybuilders and going through anxiety, growing through suicidal thoughts. I know two years back, somebody at the age of 23, amazing physique, amazing body, committed suicide. I know one friend who was the police commissioner of Mumbai. Every day, three hours in gym, physical, perfectly body. At, at commissioner, he retired. Within six months, he committed suicide. So, see, anything which is temporary, I would like to give my limited time. I will give only that much time so that I can function well. Right. Right? It's, my body is not worth my three hours of my time. I, I do 12 minutes of exercise, 10 to 12 minutes of exercise. Five, 10 minutes I do visualizing that I am doing this much push-up, but I am getting good body. Right? So, and what is important is I am consistent about it. So, no, but there are so many friends who, who, who go to, but each to their own. I am not judging that, but for me, it's not, for me, it, 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 I don't know, I don't see common sense in putting three hours over my body. Right. I don't need to go in any extreme. What I need is a healthy body. And for me, healthy body comes from, first is healthy thoughts, healthy emotions. Then healthy food, and then healthy, and then uh, moderate exercise. We don't need extreme exercises. We need moderate exercises. So exercise is important, but we need moderate exercises, which I can do it every day. I can do it consistently, and that is what I like to do. And it works great for me. So I feel no extreme is needed, yes. even for the body, because आप किसके लिए कर रहे हो? जो चीज I want to focus more of my time on my consciousness. Because that is my true wealth which I am going to carry. So that worth my time and attention. Any temporary things, when I know it is temporary, I will give my limited time. So, the body is a great vehicle. It is a temple in which I reside, which is my consciousness reside. So I will give as much time to keep my temple fit and strong and it doesn't fall down. And it, it gives, it, it is contains my consciousness and can travel and move and everything. But beyond that, I don't need to. Right. Yeah, unless I have a passion. Suppose you have a passion for being a dancer and you love what you're doing, then you give your time. Right. Or unless you have a passion for bodybuilding and it gives you joy and gives you satisfaction and this is your life's mission, then you give it. But it is not the need. It is not needed for this consciousness to give you three hours for the body. If it is passion, if you are loving it and if you are passionate about it, or if it is your profession to be a bodybuilder or a wrestler, then, then go for it. Or, or like she said, golfer, then go for it. Right. right? Yeah. So, second was regarding the visualization. Um, so, suppose, sir, uh, I started, the, I started, uh, first time I had a conversation, so my question was regarding the job. Then I switched myself because I, I come from a family of doctors and professors and no one did a business uh, in our family. So I'd never had that mindset. 
So I never had done the visualization regarding I will start something of my own. Then I started something of my own. Then I start, first time in last month I went online. So at that time I had uh, 85 participants online. At that time I didn't have so visualization was regarding two three log bhi aa jaye two three people and it will so sir right now i have one goal like i already have three student enrolled for a boot camp in mumbai and pune and bangalore in upcoming month so the pricing is like around 30000 so uh, i can think as per visualization it can be 1 lakh 2 lakh also but that doesn't it's like it seems for me that uh, this visualization i'm doing is very vague so if i so it should be somewhere in terms of reality when it comes to visualization that's what makes me more relatable sir i want to know your best guidance regarding it because sometimes it seems little very out of context my salesman one who does sales for me he sometimes he's a very kiddish person but he doesn't have that limiting mindset but he sometimes talks very out then i listening to his words i feel that it's my limited mindset not his yeah so many times of course we are, we all have materialistic goals which is fine but you also have to be realistic right just because i am a spiritual teacher and i say oh i will charge 10 lakh for my classes right because i feel it's worth it but people will not come right so always the goal is how do i add value the goal is not about making money the goal is not about from 30000 to 1 lakh the goal is i want to offer more than what i take i want if people are paying say 40000 to come to pyramid valley for the workshop my goal is how do i offer much more than that than what they have paid if they and more than the money if they invested their four days my goal is how do i make their every minute precious right when you have that kind of a goal then 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 the goal matches the will of the divine and then the whole cosmic force will work to make that happen and then money is a by product that will come to you Right? right then naturally you can increase your price and also when it's a journey i have to be realistic i am a i am a teacher even if i want to have a materialistic goal there is nothing wrong luckily i have an alternative source of money or or income what if i don't have alternative source maybe my profession is my only dependency maybe being a spiritual teacher my only way i can be financially abundant is by charging more money but then as i improve my skills as i improve my own spirituality and my own what i'm offering i'm just not just you don't just offer your knowledge you also offer your presence right for knowledge they can do online also but you offer your presence you offer your your energy you offer your alignment so as i i have to be realistic how much alignment i am i offering coming from the business family i can easily do immense amount of social media marketing and say oh, i am the world's number one highest clicked highest liked highest viewed i can buy all the views and say i am the world number one but how but that will change but that will degrade my vibration because now i am in a number game i am chasing number that will lose my alignment now i am in a competition game so did i help did that help me or did i in fact it was counter intuitive counter productive right so my goal is not to be that my goal is to be the teacher with the highest alignment so that i teach i practice what i teach yes. many times i know when i am not practicing what i am teaching and my goal is oh i need to practice what i teach yes. i am also working for i need to practice what i teach every time i have to remind oh i am my own student i know i am my own student so so and then everything else follows not one lakh you may charge 10 lakhs nature has its own plan but first first have the right vibration first have first 
if you deserve it, the universe will serve it. But first, bring first have the right deservability, right? Right. So sometimes we we don't need to. Sometimes things, even our own spiritual comes comes gradually. There is no button that you press it and I am enlightened today, just because I become a teacher. It comes even the spiritual growth growth comes gradually. So go with the flow. Give it that time. I I I don't want to buy views. I want to right now as I know that I am also growing. I want let the views come organically. Let people follow organically, so that as because I am also growing. So it allows me to make mistakes. If there are too many views, then there are no room for for mistakes. It will be too overwhelming. Maybe I'll have to maintain a facade all the time. I want to be human. I want to be natural. I want to be authentic. Maybe I lose my authenticity. So sometimes progression should go. There should be a. You should give room for that natural progression. Yes. Right. Like if you if you want a fruit, you lay the seed, and just because you are pouring more and more water, you won't get fruit all of a sudden, right? Right. It will takes its time. Yes. It takes its own gestation time. If you if you want to have a baby, you cannot say that oh I made love that was too good love. So now the baby will come in nine days only. It will take days nine months. Yes. And for that nine months, the mother will still have to nurture. As a parent, you have to still nurture the womb, right? Then the baby. So sometimes allow the nature to do its own work, yes. right? allow the allow the vibration to do its work you do your job and then let it be spontaneous right thank you sir thank you okay. firstly thank you so much for spreading all the love and knowledge that you have been doing uh i don't just say your name where are you from what you do okay my name is janvi i'm from hyderabad i don't have a question in particular but i wanted to quickly share something if that's okay with you yeah yeah please so i attended your 9 day intensive workshop 5 months ago in uh, october mm. and when i was uh, when i came for the workshop i was at a point where um, so i ran a startup back in hyderabad Yeah, I remember now. Yes. Two of you came, right? Yes, yeah. I came with my childhood friend, who's also my business partner. Partner, right? I yeah. remember now. So at that point, we were at a roadblock, and um, we were kind of running out of funds in our business, and we were trying to fundraise uh, investment. Um, so by then, I think we were already trying for about three months, actively pitching to about at least fifty, sixty investors or investor networks, uh, meeting people. sending samples doing everything possible uh, and then we decided to come here and we were like okay for 9 days let's just see uh, take a break and then today um, you had a session about you know creating from another dimension about hard work smart work and so after that me and my partner were jokingly saying you know ab to we'll stop working and we'll create from another dimension <laughs> so um, fast forward to now so right after we went back within 3 days some random in- so after that we stopped reaching out we took a break so randomly some investor contact we had reached out to a month before to set up a call and that call went well and within 15 days of returning from the re- intensive retreat we got a commitment of 2 cr and we are raising the investment now uh, when i came for the retreat we were finding it hard to even get a commitment of 5 lakhs so from that to this has been a huge transformation and in the last 4 days my agreement got finalized as well so i promised myself when i was in the retreat i told my partner saying even if we raise half the amount of what we wanted to raise i'm going to come back here and you know share my experience which is why i'm sharing awesome. it awesome lovely lovely thank you so, so much so inspiring amazing amazing 
Lovely, lovely. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. So this is how universe works, right? Good afternoon, and yeah, my name is Hasya. So I'm in grade 10. So what happened in uh, my childhood was my parents were quite strict. Uh, yeah. yeah. So the reason was um, they did not give me much freedom. They're like, don't do this, don't do that, and all of that. Then um, I felt that because they're strict, I may not be able to share anything with them. So I didn't share anything. Slowly, I thought maybe I'd find a friend or somebody who I would share it with, uh, probably. So I uh, went out looking for friends. Many people broke my trust. And the way I lost my trust also, I got trust issues. Then all of a sudden, when I came into my teenage years, they somehow come up to me and like, share whatever you want with me and, um, and all of that. And, they're like, we were in stress. And then they told me that I had health issues and that's the reason they kind of restricted me from doing things. So I felt that maybe if they told me that I had health issues and I couldn't do this, I would have understood. And now all of a the sudden, they just come. They're like, I want to be friends with you. And I want to talk to you. And I'm unable to do that. I'm unable to be friendly with them because... With your parents? Yeah, they're, mm. from my entire childhood, they were never friendly with me. And all of a sudden, they come and they're like, I want to be friendly with you. Share whatever you want with me. And, uh, and then when I, I felt, OK, maybe let's give me, let them get a chance. And then I went and shared it with them. And um, still, they scold me. I thought, OK, maybe they're scolding me. Then they tell me that they're stressed. And the next day, they come to me and tell, them that, tell me that I'm stressed. They just keep on uh, you know, shouting at me, scolding me. They are also into meditation, actually. Um, and, and the next day, my mom comes to me, and I'm like, sorry, I was stressed. But I've already taken it in, to me. So how do I overcome that? Because they were never free to me, and now they just come and like, you share everything with me after attending the courses and everything. But now I am not free enough to share it with them. Right, right. Thanks for sharing. So this is what happens. When the parents don't know how to hold the child, then child develops a mechanism to how to hold themselves. Right? When they don't get what they want from parents, then they look at peers. Right? So, and now she's already developed a mechanism to hold on her own. And now for her, there's a, it's, a, it's, it's a trust issue because and the, every time she opens up, as she said, she opens her vulnerable side or she opens up, again she has been cheated. So it's like already there's a, there's a wound and the omen, omen wo, the, the very, very, any time, again she opens herself because the wound, wound is still open, the nerves endings are still open. Even little bit touch triggers her. Right? It's like if somebody is hitting me like this normally, I'll say, Are what happened? But if I have a wound below inside and somebody is doing me like this, I said, Why are you hitting me? Right? Because the nerve endings are open, I am much more sensitive. And little bit touch also feels gives me much more pain. So little bit also their behavior not to her expectation gives her more pain, right? And it she backs to her old pat, old thinking that when you were never there, now why do I open up to you? So what it is your stress? Why should I be the guinea pig? Why should I be the world? And as she rightly said that now she has a trust issue with the friends because she could not develop because the the world becomes. As you develop your relationship with your parents, so does your relationship becomes, a, uh, it becomes with the world. And now, she has a trust issue with the world. Right? So, what is now to change, your parents to change or not to change is to them. Are they here? My mom was there, but my sister was crying, so she probably left. Right. So, I will advise you to, yeah, on, on line 9, I have, a, I have a workshop on parenting. Okay. 
and I advise you to see it, see it, and I advise them also to see it. Like they have changed, but you know they have tried to change. I have tried to change. We have tried to change. We have tried to talk. We have to. We have tried everything. But now because they have changed, they have changed their ways because they're old. They understood everything. They changed. Right. But I'm young. I'm unable to change myself because they've already changed and they come to me and like we have changed. Now you change. But I, I'm unable, I tell them I'm unable to change. They don't understand. They're like, they send me here so I could change from my ways. I could, um, then I was like, we start fighting, me and my mom suddenly. We just start fighting because she is like, I am trying to change. Why don't you change? Right. So, you know, what you need to do is to express your need. Tell them what is your need, what is your deeper need. You tell them that I need to be authentic. I don't want to keep a facade. I don't want to be... To be so, if it comes, it will naturally come to me. Don't, don't try to speed up that process. Like freedom, because again, force creates resistance. Educational freedom, everything they have given me. Educational right, freedom, right. Uh, what I want to become my career freedom, everything they have given me. They are ready to support me from my back. Financially, they are ready to support me. They said that in the middle of the year, if you want to leave your studies, we are ready, we'll financially support you, start something on your own. Everything they have given me that way. But emotionally, they are unable to give me the support which I need. Right. So, you know what, we have to also understand that their, their parents also went through some childhood. They also must have had some history. Everybody is is what they are because there is some past, some background. So maybe they went through it. Maybe they, they didn't do out of their intention. Yeah, maybe they, they did it out of their ignorance. It to but, me. but this is what you are going through, right? Yeah. So what you, you do some breath work. Do, do gratitude breath work. Right? Again, with the help of gratitude and with that breath work, you, what is important is, is you transforming yourself. More than the relationship by holding on, you are hurting yourself, right? So it is not, first thing is it is not good in your interest. So you need to transform your emotional state. You need to feel lighter. You need to emerge lighter now. You can't carry that bag, that baggage. So you need to drop your baggage for your own good. The faster you drop the baggage, the more creative you can be. Because that baggage, that, 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 that is not lying idle. You have logged it in a log cellar of emotions. Yes, I have seen that recently. Um, in my childhood, I was, um, you know, I used to, um, I had actually created a board game and a lot of stuff. I was, go I was good in cooking and many things. Um, I was good at sports. And recently, I've realized that what I do is just watch Netflix all day. Nothing else. I, I was a creative person. I used to get business ideas at the age of 10. I used to get business ideas at the age of 12. And recently, I wanted to like, maybe, um, I've seen people so from a young age, if they start their uh, working on their business, maybe when I get to a proper stage, maybe I'd be perfect at it, was what I thought. But whenever I sit with a book and a pen, and I try to do something, no idea comes to me. Because that, that emotion that you've logged it, is consuming all your energy. All your creative energy is consumed by that. So once you release those emotions, once you release, you, you, you will give freedom to yourself. So do gratitude breath work. It will help you release it. It, help, it will give you freedom. Then even that forgiveness towards your parents will naturally come. The connection will naturally come. Once that underlining emotion is gone, then you will naturally be able to connect. You will naturally be able to understand them, connect with them. Right? See them see them dropping that past beyond, see them not without that past memory of which that you're carrying in your relationship. You'll drop that past, you'll free yourself from that past memory. You'll release that, you'll, you'll release that emotional charge around that memory. Right? Because now that memory has so much of emotional charge, you're not able to relate with them. And that emotional charge is consuming all your energy. So, it, in your interest, it is important to release that emotion, to release that charge. And for that, do breath work along we with meditation. I actually put a, a teacher, he's quite an experienced teacher, so he comes to my house, he takes classes for me. Guidedly, I do it with him. He sits with me for the meditation, he connects with my 
you know Lovely. and then he does it very good yeah so it's going on but i feel hurt inside that it's why is it happening so do breath work see at the end no matter what stage are we in we all create our own reality maybe that got you into spirituality right maybe once you got into spirituality at this early age and once you release that and once you become the master of your thoughts and emotions you can create miracles in your life then you will say thank god for that challenge that i faced in my life that now i can overcome anything then you will bless your parents you know because many times we have those soul contracts we chose those parents we chose some challenges so that it helps them to us to evolve at this moment you may not understand but once you overcome it 5 years later you may you may see it as a blessing right so so focus and now forget parenting forget them you, you have to prioritize you right yeah. your whole life is ahead of you yeah they have done their life they have gone there now it doesn't matter whether they whether what what happens them to them because majority of the life they have already seen it but for you the life is the whole life is ahead of you right so you need to for your for your for your benefit you need to work on yourself yeah and the by product will be the healing of your relationship with your parents yeah so that is not the priority priority is you right yeah yeah thank you thank you thank you thank you hello hello sir i'm kalash from nagpur maharashtra and sir i'm currently assisting uh, my mother in the business so in 2021 i i just cleared my 12th and after 12th like you have to choose streams and all so sir at that time i was completely confused i didn't know what to do with my life or what to do with anything so sir just to please uh, friends and society and my friends were doing some fancy degree so also i took that it fancy degree but once i go to college then i felt lots of anxieties there i felt like it was not for me although i did it for one year after that i took a commitment with myself if it doesn't cut, com, uh, comes from within i don't do it so sir i left that degree and after that i was traveling with my family and like i attracted your workshop i don't know what the reason but i started doing your meditations from the 2020 to september and sir it took me it took me like 1.5 years of breath work and meditation to gather the courage to leave that degree and i and 3 uh, weeks before i left that degree before coming to this workshop my mother helped me with the journey and she gave me the courage so sir i want to know that i should not do the same mistakes again so how should i use meditation as a tool to find clarity in my life and find myself so meditation naturally gives you clarity you don't have to do anything to get clarity because you are doing meditation naturally the clarity will come right so so what you are doing is good you are doing breath work you are doing meditation just continue that everything will come to you the clarity will come to you you attract synchronicities serendipities in your life right people right situation right things you will naturally be drawn to what is connected to your path your purpose your passion and you will take those steps so just focus on clarity will naturally come to you right and sir one more question is that like you said you have to just be in your inner alignment sir it's okay to like visualize for inner alignment but when we are in inner alignment then why should we visualize then you don't visualize right you already found it then then just enjoy that alignment yes sir be in that alignment that's it thank you sir love you thank you for your teachings thank you thank you sir thank you sir this is the second session i have got so many transformations and uh, miracles have happened uh, after your session and i have a question and a confusion also um for my daughter i have i want to search and arrange marriage uh, so i want to show for uh, astrology according to astrology i should go and she has left 
um, uh, responsible on me. You'll give, you'll give the best for me, she'll be telling. Uh, that sometimes uh, responsibility will become more. And how I should think, I am worried about that. So what, 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 is your, what, what is your goal? What do you want? She want to be happy. She want to be happy in, with her life partner. And uh, I had a bad experience also. That is resisting me. So, I, I still do, I'm not very clear. What yeah. is your question? As a parent, uh, I have responsibility to search a guy for my daughter. In arranged uh, marriage, we show for astrology. Right. According to that, we'll go. And uh, so... In arranged marriage, you said we show for astrology. Astrology. We Astrologers, show. yeah. Who show? We. I, I should show. That Jat Kavi tell no. Why you should show? Why you should show? Uh, according to her uh, planet, uh, that connection will go and will do. Who we? I. I. Yeah. Okay, so why do you do that? So she'll be happy. Okay, okay. Yeah. Yeah. So then what is your question? And what I should think, what should I want to be responsible in that as a parent? Right. So as a parent, what I would say is, you all, they will all attract as per our vibration. Yeah. As per our soul, especially when it's about life partner, all according to our soul plan. Right? And uh, I feel it is always, relationship is always dynamic. Even astrology is limitation to what, is, what to, up till your birth. But we all had our life after our birth, right? We all made free wills, our choices after our birth. Two twins born at the same time, same parenting, same, same, have two different life paths, two different complete destiny. Right? So eventually it's your free will, which also is changing the probability of what is possible. Astrology is a great science up to the past life karmas. But beyond that, there's a free will in this lifetime. And that is not discounted in the astrology. That is not considered. Right? So, so again, it's a limitation. So knowing that limitation, you have to choose whether you want to use astrology or you don't want to use astrology. Then how can I search? How can I search? So those who don't see astrology have never got married? If, they lo if it is love marriage, they will search. So as a parent, how can I? As a arranged, my parents never saw astrology, but I still got married. Or, or there are so many marriages in the family where we never saw astrological chart. But they got married and there are so many marriages happening without astrological chart. I have not heard. In my caste, I have So, so that like means that. it is your conditioning. Yeah. So it is your conditioning. Yes. It is your limited conditioning. Yes. So why are you imposing your conditioning on your child? If it is your marriage and you want to use astrology, are you want to get married? No. Then I can, uh, shall I tell you love and do marry? You, you either she love or you choose. Why do you use? Oh, only then I can see it. Everyone will do like that only. But then, then, then you want to live in that conditioning, then follow it. Then why are you asking me? That is the confusion for me. I have given you the answer, okay. but if you continue to do that, then do, you don't have to listen to me. Yeah. Okay. Eventually, your inner guidance is the right guidance. Yeah. Right? Okay. So eventually to follow your guidance. Okay. But what you want is your child to be help, to be happy. Yeah. So rather than astrology, why don't you teach them meditation? Okay. To to help them to raise their vibration. Okay. And then the vibration will attract their the right life partner. Okay. Right? Rather than imposing your limitation. Mm -hmm. 
why not help them for their expansion there comes uh, that is not good way because i have seen like this that also there also i'll be conditioned i i have told you whatever i have to say yeah yeah correct after that i don't have anything to yeah, say correct yeah thank your you your choice yeah another question uh, in business income wise uh, how should i ask uh, i uh, i should ask my team growth and their income should be progress then my income will be progress i should uh, see like that or i should see my growth my income if my income grows their income will also grow in this two contribution i am you should visualize that your whole team along with you is everybody is growing okay everyone is what is the emotional payoff you are looking for if that income grows yeah how would you what will what what is your emotion at the end end product or any anything that you want is for some emotional payoff what is the emotional payoff you are looking for uh, where i'll spend it not spend okay what emotion do you would you feel if your income grows i'll be happy i and my team will be happy your team will be happy yeah you'll be happy yeah you'll get freedom to do what you want yes. because you have, you have now more yes. resources yes right yeah so so focus on that feeling that you are happy you are you are drawing enough money to give you enough resources enough resources you are generating to give you all the freedom to do what you want and you are so happy you are so content now you are so joyful okay. you have so grateful now okay. so focus on that feeling okay don't put any number to it okay Okay. Right. Money is flowing into me to in abundance. It's growing. Okay. It is like you are receiving money in abundance, and yeah, just think like that. Okay. Uh, how to uh, see uh, in business contribution? How to contribute in business? By contributing. <laughs> <laughs> okay. What answer? By contributing. I how to contribute in business yeah by doing whatever you are doing by working i mean i didn't understand what what context you are asking uh by giving good knowledge and make uh, making them uplift is only the contribution what is your business network marketing network marketing team work yeah we have some products so by working by giving your energy and effort for whatever you're doing i'll be giving do knowledge it, do it to the best of your capacity to the best from the right state of emotional state from yeah. the right state of being then whatever you're doing yeah. you'll be doing correctly you'll you that is what you contribute to okay uh, so my life purpose uh, i should serve people uh, by giving my knowledge how i have progressed achieved and success uh so that did, so did you attend the workshop yes sir yes sir then i will not answer you anything more now yeah you 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 know enough to apply it now now you have to work on your conditioning and work you need more meditation more breath work okay otherwise unless you imbibe it okay. you will never understand it you will have one question after another okay so i am fully con conditioned N i am saying you have to first focus on meditation breath work okay you need to put things in practice okay then you will you will get your own clarity your own answers okay after four days of whatever i have taught yeah if your questions are still at that level yeah i am not be, i will not be able to help you now anyways okay got it got right it. now yeah. only you can help you Yeah. by by practicing what you have learned okay forget all the knowledge you know it is not helping you okay you have to put in practice okay you know uh so in uh, session no so you can go <laughs> <laughs> yeah. one uh, you told ask seek not i want that clarity that sir thing. just do meditation and breath work okay thank yeah. you thank yeah. you we'll take for 10 more 10 minute moment yeah sir uh, i had a request hmm. uh, so this is uh, about uh, the teenagers so if the q and a is done can you have 
do you have five minutes where you can personally just connect with teenagers so that they can share the experiences with you? Where? Anywhere. Yeah, yeah, sure, sure, sure. So because they might not be very open to us, sure. but once you are there, then you know, sure. that will have a different impact. That's sure. a request. Sure. As when all teenagers have gone down, I came and requested. Hope my son is not watching this. <laughs> वो बोलेगा खुद तो पापा अप्लाई करते नहीं दूसरों को सिखाने चले। Shall I bring them like? Yeah, yeah. Don't take my name that we suggested. Yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah, please, please come. As you showed in the slides that AI tools now developing the emotions uh, also uh, they are getting attracted towards the emotions and no, uh, I never showed that uh, no, in, in the slides no, the, with the chicken the no. ha in that yeah yeah yes, that yes. was not an AI tool yeah it was a random generator yeah okay. random uh, uh, robot uh, many years ago I had uh, a root canal treatment and uh, is that possible that uh, through creative visualization uh, when I do massage my gums, uh, now I start feeling that uh, uh, my dead uh, teeth, uh, the blood is start flowing in that roots. And because the roots are closed <laughs> with the uh, wires, and uh, is that possible that it can be happen? Because uh, um, in my childhood, I diagnosed with uh, rheumatic fever, and I was a drugstore for last 20, for 21 years and in 2004 with my imagination with my strong will I stopped all those steroids all those medicines which doctor said if you stop these medicines your heart bulbs will damage you will not survive your liver kidneys will damage but from last 2004 Till now, again I diagnosed with lupus two years ago, and I am doing it with, with my creative visualization. I am practically doing it, right. and I am uh, 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 leaving behind all the medicines. The doctor said those are very much compulsory for you. I am not taking any medicine, but um, those treatments I have taken. Can right. pause, pause so, on? if I were you, I will visualize why do you need a stronger teeth? Mm, because sometimes uh, it hurts, it means. Uh, no, why do you need us? I'm not talking about the painful teeth. Mm -hmm. Eventually, we all want uh, good chew, teeth to. Chew, chew food. So that you yes. can chew food well. Yes, yes, yes. They're strong, you can chew food. Yes. So I would, what I would not, what I would, I would not visualize ki, oh, the root canal there that the blood is flowing. Okay. I will say, oh, I'm, my streets are strong and I'm chewing great. It is helping me in my digestion. Okay. And my teeth are amazingly working for me. Okay. Beautiful teeth. I love you. Okay. Right? Okay. So I would directly visualize that. Okay. And for that to happen, mm -hmm. if the blood has to flow, it will flow. If it doesn't need to flow, it will not flow. How do I care? Thank you. Right. Perfect. So, so focus on the end, na? Okay. See the end pe pahunch jao. Okay. Fine. Right. Ap apne kya hai? movie movie mein involve hote hain. Yes. Interval ke pehle kaise chalegi? Uske baad kaise chalegi? Fir kaise chalegi? See the climax pe aajao. Climax kya chahiye aapko? Ki mera अच्छे से खा सकूं, एन्जॉय कर सकूं खाने को, उसका स्वाद आ सके, बस वो विजुलाइज करो, बस फिर जो होने आ होने दो। यूनिवर्स इंटेलिजेंस नोज व्हाट इट इस टू बी डन। ओके, एंड सेम विद द। एंड आई एम एन्जॉयिंग द फूड एंड आई एम लविंग इट। सिंपल है ना। फील इट। ओके, सेम विद द एनी हर्टिंग पार्ट I didn't visualize my, my hand is good. My, what was bothering me is that my morning routine exercise, that push-up which I do, I was not able to do it. 
तो आई ओनली विजुलाइज दैट आई एम डूइंग पुशअप अब वो पुशअप के लिए हाथ को ठीक तो होना ही पड़ेगा <laughs> तो हो गया अपने हाथ <laughs> हो गया थैंक यू थैंक यू मेडिटेशन इट वर्स गुड फॉर मी एट द सेम टाइम i get fear uh, like when i do the meditation for hour like uh, by using solab app for uh, one hour all like the spine like it's a tingling sensation it it happens and it working good also like uh, when i see the person talking to me opposite um, i can feel the vibrations or uh, the intentions and uh, if i feel good vibrations i accept i talk If I uh, don't feel good vibes, I deny. Tell me a question. The question is, uh, when it is activated, most of the time it's all tingling only, and uh, the, in that time, like whenever person comes and how it affects me. Sometimes uh, we will be talking to all kind of people, meeting all kind of people, and. Uh, Tell me a question. Come to your question. The question is how to turn off that chakras. main question is like uh, it's the whole day uh, it's tingling here and some uh, different chakra points sometimes even i uh, listening to your talk also uh, some different chakras it started tingling suddenly and it stops automatically and how to stop that like uh, when i'm going out and it's completely off how to do that so see if it is bothering you uh, if it's bothering you Uh, bothering you in the sense, uh, sometimes it's too much of tingling here. It's a kind of heavy here, agreed, and agreed, sometimes so, heat here. So that is what is bothering you, right? Yes. So if it's bothering you, then don't do chakra meditation. Ah, uh, but that is good to have a balance. Then no, but the anapanasati is also very good to have a balance. There are many other meditation which is there to good balance. Okay. Breath work is also there to good balance. Okay. Uh, but uh, to have a uh, enlightenment kind of thing to be balanced we should do no sir no it's not it's not to be only chakra you don't think you from if you need to go to delhi there's only one route there are multiple routes if one route is not suiting you take another route okay and and that's why i made many meditations ki kisi ko koi suit karega kisi ko koi suit karega for some time some, some at some stage of life you like something else sometimes you find like something else Sometimes look Indian food. Sometimes you look you, you eat Chinese food. If Chinese food khaya pata laga stomach upset ho raha hai, then don't eat Chinese food. Okay. Try Italian food or go back to Indian food. So you have all the buffet. Pick up what you what what works for you. What doesn't work, then leave it. Okay. And uh, second one is when student is ready, uh, guru appears. But uh, how do I know whether I am ready or not? uh like in the spirituality when the teacher appears that means you are ready <laughs> uh, but i uh, meet so, with so so the guru need not be of any person a book can be a guru okay right you are watching some podcast that could be a guru a guru could be anybody a guru could be anything it's not a physical form it is not necessarily physical or it can be a physical guru okay right everything whatever teaches you whatever makes you help you to connect to your in, to your inner self to help you realize your own expanded consciousness whatever helps you to realize your own what which empowers you is your guru okay thank you sir yeah thank you Yeah. Hello. 
फ्रेंड्स डिनर टू नाइट एंड ब्रेकफास्ट टाइमिंग्स फॉर डिवाइन डाइन इन प्लान ए पार्टिसिपेंट्स विल बी हेडिंग टू अन्नदाना फॉर ऑल देर मील्स डिनर एज वेल एज ब्रेकफास्ट एट रेगुलर टाइमिंग्स रेस्ट ऑफ हर्स विल बी गोइंग टू डिवाइन डाइन इन सेवन टू नाइन पी एम टू नाइट एंड एट टू टेन ए एम टूमोरो मॉर्निंग फॉर ब्रेकफास्ट होप इट्स क्लियर एंड इट्स ऑल्सो ऑन द व्हाट्सएप ग्रुप सो इफ देर इज अन क्लैरिटी प्लीज गो टू दैट मैसेज इन अन्नदाना ऑन द ग्राउंड फ्लोर ना डन थैंक यू थैंक यू ऑल राइट सो थैंक यू सो मच थैंक यू ऑल थैंक यू फॉर योर पेशेंस माई गॉड सो इट्स लाइक टू आर फिफ्टी मिनट्स एंड यू ऑल वे सिटिंग amazing thank you thank you all all the best thank you i have to take a flight ha bole bole ha guided meditation thoda sa ho raha hai lekin silence mein bahut ho raha hai ye addict mein nahi ho jaungi main hello there is a little girl aapka naam kya beta aisa kuch gautami gautami ki mummy kahan hai हाँ तो गाइडेड करेंगे आप नो प्रॉब्लम थैंक यू थैंक यू अभी आ रहे अभी आ रहे बाबू आ जाए अभी आ जाए अभी आ जाए गौतम इज मदर वेर एवर यू आर प्लीज